This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, uh, <laughs> little baby and everybody were at this 4th of July party. I guess uh, Michael Rubin and, you know, this is one of those weekends where like a billionaire can feel cool because he knows rappers. You know, Meek was there. Jay-Z's a billionaire, so he's he's in this club. Now, this is the thing about the, uh, yeah, Yo Gotti's there. Uh you know, little Uzi Vert, uh, James Harden, everybody. Okay, so Robert Kraft. The, you know, the billionaires feel young. They're hanging out with the, the cool crowd. They have a big party. And the rappers are going to come because they want to feel like they're around the billionaires, you know? So, but you could be like Jay-Z and hang out with these guys and utilize them to become a billionaire yourself, okay? Uh, now, anyways... Little Uzi Vert goes crazy. He starts, he starts b-boying, okay, which was impressive. He was doing windmills and all that kind of stuff. But in the background, you had James Harden and Meek Mill having a tickle party. If you look at look at the video, James Harden is right there. He's tickling Meek. Meek's running away. They're having a tickle party in the back. Whoa, what is going on, Meek? Come on, my geez, stop. It's getting spooky with James Harden. James Harden and, and little baby are inseparable. Then he's having tickle parties with Meek Mill. It's getting weird, my G. I'm just being honest, okay? These are supposed to be gangster rappers. You guys are it's getting weird. I'm gonna be honest with you. I guess once you get over a couple a couple million, things get a little spooky. <laughs> Um. Okay, here, here's another mess right here. <sighs> Love and hip hop mess. Uh, so we got Erica Mena, who's a mess herself. You know, she's been, you know, linked with Bow Wow and Envy, Safari, and others. Uh, she's had a relationship with Joe Budden's baby mom before they were together. So, anyways. This girl, Kaylin Garcia, I guess has been cheating with Safari. Safari and Erica. But Erica Mena already publicly made, filed for divorce, right? So shouldn't care, right? But uh, let's see. At Kaylin Garcia, real talk, I've been in the shoes dealing with a man who lived a double life and I had no clue he was married before. But you and I know Safari is married. Who doesn't know that? Not to mention real friends with Joe Budden, your ex. Safari just had a baby who hasn't seen, he hasn't seen him. She, didn't she say she wasn't going to let him see the baby that much because they're going through a divorce? Um, that's also no secret. I'm blasting both of you since he told you to lay low tonight. Clearly, you both know I found out. Uh, my son not even a week old yet. All right, okay, come on. You got you're you guys are the one that are playing with your lives on love and hip hop. You're you're making storylines with these divorces getting back together. You're playing these games to have a storyline on love and hip hop. And this is what happens when you play with your own life and your love life and your kids life, everything. Uh, Eric, then little Duval said, how you go from filing divorce? Why are you trying a married man, uh, trying to blank a married man? Crazy tale itself. Eric Mena says, you always in someone's business. Shut up, little Duval. And then uh, little Duval says, calm down, queen. You're postpartum acting up. <laughs> they continue to go back and forth where he was like, uh, you shouldn't care about what somebody do if you really don't care about him no more. He's right. And he said, women refuse to believe they are wired they, uh, to their emotions more than they mind. We all are. Y'all just fighting it more. I think we're all very emotional. Some just hide it, some don't. Men or women. Then it gets into, like, it gets into, this is confusing. Then it gets into, like, Erica Mena's friend. She's in Miami where Safari and this girl are, you know, supposedly laid up, kicking it for the weekend. And Erica Mena's friend is out there putting paws on people. She's at Kaylin Garcia. You ran. Uh, you say you got hit us. But they ran. Then it says, uh, 
never had beef with a real friend in my life. But I guess her and Erica met her like best friends or something. And then uh, she also put pause on Bobby Lights for some reason. Uh, then Bobby Lights, I guess, said uh, difference between get, being in a fight and being attacked by an irate individual. <laughs> she, he, uh, Bobby Lights was probably just trying to get in the middle of it to stop it and just got crazy. Then this other who's next? Y'all gonna stop playing with my sister, Erica Mena. Kaylin came on IG last night talking about she got hit us. Uh, I would have said nothing, but she's talking tough. And Erica Mena goes off on this girl, Kaylin. For years, I have been myself, no blogs, no drama. I'm a woman who is about accountability and morals. The fact that I have been called out. For absolutely nothing to me is insane. Me and Safari are friends. You're nothing more. Thanks, everyone. Be blessed. Yeah, Safari probably told her to write that. She said, so, Caitlin, you've been messing with my husband all weekend in Miami. We have a son who was just born. Still isn't home yet. Did he tell you that? <laughs> Safari was probably booked in Miami and I had to go there. But, you know, like, you guys are fighting on Safari. Come on. That's funny in itself. Anyways, that's what's going on. There's probably more going on. I just wanted to touch on that stuff for now. It's Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.